Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well, and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how to remove a watermark from a PDF file using Adobe Acrobat, so let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm on a help article, which is uh, about adding watermarks to PDFs. However, I'll cover the process of adding one so that I can explain how to remove it later. So let's start with uh, how to add or how they are added. Uh, they are added pretty much by opening the PDF and selecting the edit uh, mega verb add the global bar and selecting watermark and then add and then you can uh, apply the watermark selectively to several pages uh, but that is pretty much it then you need to specify the watermark you can select it from the saved settings menu uh, if you want to reuse a watermark and watermark options that you saved earlier then you can create a text watermark select text and just adjust everything that you want uh, or you can use an image if you have it but which you need to select a file on your computer for and only PDF, JPEG, and BMP images can be used as watermarks. Uh, then, pretty much, it is only up to customizing your watermarks, but in essence, that is how they are added. Now, to remove them, as you can see, there is only one step, and the only way to do this is by opening the single PDF that you want to change, then selecting one or more component PDFs in a PDF portfolio. Well, you can do either, or you can select a single or select a PDF portfolio, and all you have to do is go to Edit, and go into war Watermark, and then click Remove it'll be uh, remove will replace the add button so you just click remove and that is pretty much it uh, or it might not even replace it let me just check yeah you can just click remove it will not be replaced it is available from the get-go and once you remove it it will be removed uh, to remove it from multiple PDFs all you have to do is close any open PDFs and choose all tools edit a PDF watermark and remove and then in the dialog box you select add files and choose add files again and then you select the files which you want to change then select ok and then in the output options dialog specify your folder and file name preferences and that is all there is to it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys in another video